it's time for us to take a look at our dailies. Yeah. Let me begin with a daily graphic. And we're okay. just taking you through the headlines, all right? Um, but before we, let me just ask you quickly. Um, you, for those who don't know, uh, who don't know Chris, um, Chris is from Nigeria, yeah? Yes. Your elections are happening. <sighs> How are you feeling? How have you been feeling all weekend? Just, you know, without going into too much detail. <laughs> My anxiety level is... Hi. Okay, why though? Why anxiety? Because huh. somebody called me this morning, a Nigerian friend of mine. See, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know I can see. A Nigerian friend of mine, she's half Nigerian, half Ghanaian, and she called me and she says the entire weekend, tension, anxiety, can't sleep, and I'm asking myself why. I wonder how Chris feels. Huh. Well, she's she, she's actually very right. Mm. Because um if you if, if if you're following the election, you will realize that this is one of those elections with the highest turnout of people coming to vote. It's never, never happened, happened like before. Wow. So these are these is people. I mean, this is um, um, people coming out to exercise their, their you know franchise, yeah. their franchise. Mm. And it's a, a, the fact that it has never happened before mm. should tell us something. Yeah. That means people won't change. People yeah. are tired. Yeah. And. Yeah. Well, there isn't results already, and things don't seem to. Be, it doesn't seem to be going the way the way expected. we expected. So oh, I see. yeah, so there's a bit of tension of what will happen. Some people are saying, okay, NSAS was, was just the you know was just a, a tip of the iceberg. Mm. What is coming could be more than the NSAS process. Really? Yeah. So we are all scared that hey, nothing should happen. Mm. We don't want anything mm. to happen, but mm. at the same time, we want you, yeah. the Electoral Commission, to do the right thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll touch on a few of those stories coming from Nigeria yeah. in a headline shortly. The Daily Graphic has these headlines. It says, Cocoa Industry Under Threat. Illegal miners destroy rehabilitated farms. Now, I don't understand this. Rehabilitated farms presupposes that we've gone in there to go and fix a problem that was in the farm. We've rehabilitated the farm, and legal miners have gone back in there to go mess things up again. Listen, we need to start jailing people. It's a problem. No, we need to start yeah. actually dealing with this harshly. It's not of this sort of kid gloves, kid gloves thing that we, we, we're doing, you know. Uh, President Ekufuado Boko Naba renew commitment to lasting peace in Boko. Nigeria elections will be credible. INEC boss is speaking. Reverend Wengam takes over as the seventh Assemblies of God General Superintendent. Congratulations to him. And then we have mining firms should undertake legacy projects. All right. So that's the headlines on the front page of the Daily Graphic. So on the Ghanaian Times, um, we have Yagbon mm -hmm. man of peace, development oriented. The president elogizes the late Paramount's chief of Gonja traditional area. So first results expected from tight Nigeria election this week. Government committed to deepening decentralization in Ghana, and that's by Dan Botchwe. Um, um, admissions on the computerized system increased SHS quota to 40% and that's the CRI advocating. Mm. And ECG faces court action for felling trees mm. at Chado, as Chado residents fume at destruction of Ghana Green Project. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's, it's about time that residents mm -hmm. all over the city actually get up in arms and uh, you know, protest and make noise about people cutting down trees yeah, indiscriminately, yeah. be they government operatives or not, you know, be they state agencies or not. We, we need to develop a culture within uh, uh, Ghana space where we understand that it's not just about primary school reading that trees are important. And then we forget about it. It's like we read it in our primary school books that trees are important. That was it. In real life, they are actually, actually even more important. important yeah. You know, and so we need to bear that in mind. Uh, the Chronicle has these headlines. It says it's official. Sedinam absconds in 500,000 Ghana city. Um, Ghana must go back trial. Okay. Wow. 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 All right. 
Kwe, uh, Kweuma Hene served with substituted service a contempt case brought against him. Missing a bongo boy found. Muhammad tells Christians, don't run away from politics. And he's seen in a picture there, uh, seated with uh, Reverend Stephen Wengam. Uh, Minerals Commission resolves Jaising min Mining and Achim Akokwaso residence differences. And the Chronicle, as always, has a scripture for us today. 1 John 3 verse 4, everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. I like that reminder. I, I wonder who's this scripture <laughs> is shady. It has a shade, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> I like that shade. Well, the new publisher, on the new publisher we have um, John Dumelo Battles Fred Nyama mm. for NDC Ayawa So West. Okay. And Chase Out GRA's retiree Mugabe petitions hit special prosecutor's decks. I stand for peace. Bokunaba assures Akufuado, mm. support Ghana combat terrorism, Khan Dapa. Yep. All right. And the Republic Press has these headlines here. It says, Muhammad derides EC boss again. Cut your budget, German ambassador tells Ghana. You see, this thing, uh, I don't know how, I don't know how else we want to say it <laughs> before uh, the government understands that it just it's not it's not it's as untenable to for us to keep going in this direction you know you you on one hand it's like somebody who says chris somebody who says i'm broke i need a thousand cds yeah. but as they are coming to you saying that i'm broke i'm coming to beg for a thousand cds they are wearing the most expensive, flaunt, their flaunting lifestyle. the most exactly. fashionable, fashionable chains in their neck, you know, fashionable shoes, whatever. I said, I, I, I need thousand cities. I come to beg for thousand cities. Hey, cut your, uh, cut your, you know, your expenditure. <laughs> anyway, Frances fights Napo over her dismissal. And uh, we have, uh, let me just quickly go through these ones here. F Finance Minister um, Ken Furieta is best since. Uh, 1957, a government spokesman is speaking. Um, okay, I don't know where they were since 1957. Um, Bodino Bifaya Wood, Reverend Steve Wegham's position on sex before marriage. Oh, wow. um, yeah, I know, right? Um, of all the plenty of things he said, that right? Bodino Bodin Bifaya Wood <laughs> is the one that they remember. Um, farmers Command Project for Improving Agricultural Production. All right, so the Inquisitor... Um, exit from GCMC. Mm -hmm. Confused Frances goes bonkers. Explosive coming up. Massive bribery scandal at Takwa Regional Police Command. Mm. Ghana's IMF package in severe danger, says the German ambassador. And over 70 uh, students benefit from Farouk Ali Mahama's educational fund. And coming up, Davi Ama to raise pertinent political issues soon. Okay. The informer, I'll just give you the main one. It says here, when pride goes before a fall, Mahama doesn't need NDC. Team Mahama boasts. Okay. Wow. So that headline, amongst others, on the front page of the informer. You have any more? Yeah, we have the new crusading guide. Okay. I am for peace, uh, Bokunaba declares, and 2023 school selection and placement exercise very successful. Special prosecutor petitioned to investigate GRA bus mm. and Ghana first challenges mm. Obi Amwa to come clear on ultra modern automated toilet agreement. All right. Let me give you one big headline on the front page of the BNFT. That's my final paper. Government settles 87 billion Ghana CD uh, worth of bonds. Okay, so that's some good news for those who are bondholders okay. there. Um, this, this and other headlines on the front page of the BNFT. All right, so um, I have the finder. Is Finance Minister Ken Oforiata to blame? Mm. And... Okay, we have Kia records 1,089 Ghana card arrivals from 19 countries to Ghana okay. in 2022. GIS data, free 
SHS, 91% of qualified students successfully placed, um, says the Education Ministry, and Achim Akokoasu mining dispute resolved. Super. And that's All right. it. For the purpose. Fantastic. Well, let's uh, go for sports in the next. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast uh, Daily. Um, my name is Yao AJ Minta and good morning to you, Chris. Good morning. And welcome to the team. Thank you. You sounded like you didn't know what your name was or you had forgotten temporarily what your name was. No, because so, I'm here. Because, no, 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 because, because, because I'm here. Because, uh, oh, you say you see Chris now, you call yeah. Small. Uh, I call small. <laughs> I, call, I see Chris now, okay, I call no, small. Okay, no, that one is allowed. I, I see Chris yeah. now, I call small. But I've seen him before. <laughs> yes, but I saw him just once. So, uh, seeing you again, yes. Uh, okay. Small confusion. Wait, the way she dripped this morning. Oh, yeah, the drip be tight. Yeah. And I'm celebrating my United Carabao Cup Well done. I'm celebrating it at the expense of Liverpool. So, yes, yes, yes. I'm in a good mood. I'm, I'm in a very good mood. Um, now, let's start um, off with some Ghana-related news. Now, Adriana Stars, they secured a spot um, in the quarterfinals of the MTN FA Cup with a win over Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Now, Adriana Stars, they beat um, Kumasi Asante Kotoko by a goal to zero. And um, Sam Adams, he converted a penalty in the 65th minute to give Adriana the lead, and they held on to secure that win. Now, in other results, um, Kim Faisal, they beat Stephas FC uh, by a goal to nil. Um, Real Tamale United, they beat Samatex by two goals to one, while Sky FC, they beat Bando Heart of Lions by two goals to one. So, some other results also on your screen there. And so, you have um, securing qualification to the quarterfinals of the MTN FA Cup. Um, Adriana Stars, um, Dreams FC, um, Kim Faisal, Cape, Cape Coast, uh, Mysterious Obusima Dwarves, Real Tamale United, Legon Cities, Eswatriman FC, and Sky FC. So some good news coming there for some Division I clubs competing in the MTN F FA Cup. Adriana Stars beating Kumasi Asante Kotoko to progress to the quarterfinals of the competition. So Kotoko season going from bad to worse and more pressure on um, Burkina Bay head coach for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Seydou Zebo. We should have seen his post-game reaction. It, it was epic. He, the man was ranting all over the place. Now, moving on to some French League um, news. Now, it's been a while since we talked about the French League. A lot of people call it the Farmers League. Um, but um, Kylian Mbappe... You, including you. Oh, no, I, I've never called the French League uh, the Farmers League. You stood here and called it the Farmers League no, a few weeks no, ago. No, Some people called it. So, me, I was just relating it to <laughs> the audience. Uh, okay. Me, I was just relating it to the audience. So, um, Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi, now they start in the absence of Neymar and they led Paris Saint-Germain to a 3-0 win over um, Olympic de Marseille. And Messi back to assist and a goal while um, Kylian Mbappe back and assist and two goals. Yes, that was the Le Classic. You know, in Spain, they have the Classico, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Um, in France, it's Le Classic. That's between... PSG and Olympic Marseille. Say it again. Le Classique. Le Classique. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Huh? Le Classique. Le, 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 Le Classique. Yeah. You, oh, man. Some French you, tutorial this morning. French, yeah, 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 French yeah, tutorial yeah. this morning. Yeah. 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 My, my French tell me so embarrassed. It's like, Lee, I, I apologize. It's like, Lee, I apologize. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Now, um, Le Classique, yes. And in, in Germany, too, you have um, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich playing out those uh, headline games. Now, Messi scored his 700th club goal for PSG. Now, wow. um, Mbappe, he also made history by becoming the um, PSG's all-time um, top scorer. He, jo he joined um, Edison Cavani on 200 league goals for PSG. So, some history um, being made by Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi. And it's funny that um, at the time Lionel Messi was scoring all these goals, um, his rival, direct rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, was on the other side of the world scoring a hat-trick in the Camels League. So, yes, in, in Al Nasser, um, in, in Saudi Arabia. So, yeah. Wait, oh, so that one too, is it others who are calling it the Yeah, Camels yeah, yeah, they're, they're calling it the Camels League. Wow. 
Yeah, the camels leave. Yes. But why do they name it though? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just trolling. It's just trolling because at the time Messi moved from um, hmm. Barcelona to PSG, uh, people said, "Oh, Ronaldo fans said, oh, Ronaldo is competing for Man United in the EPL, oh. the best league in the world, whilst Messi is competing in the Farmers League." Hmm. Now Messi is competing in the Farmers League, so-called Farmers League, and now Ronaldo is competing in Saudi Arabia. So if France is the Farmers League, then what would you tag? Um, the, the 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 Saudi League. Camel. Camel League. <laughs> so yes, that's that's. It that's makes it. sense actually because yeah. it does it. <laughs> so now let's move on to EPL EPL news. Now league leaders as now they beat Leicester City by a goal to zero at the King Power Stadium, while Manchester City they beat AFC Bournemouth by four goals to one to stay in second place. Now um, Tottenham Hotspur they boosted their chances of um, yeah they boosted their chances of a top four finish in the Premier League with a 2-0 win over North London rivals um, Chelsea. Yes, Chelsea. Oliver Skip, he scored the opener for um, Tottenham Hotspur and Harry Kane. He tapped in the second goal late in the game to stretch um, Chelsea's winless run to six games. So, yes, Graham Potter is under a lot of pressure um, because Chelsea are winless in six straight games. Now, Graham Potter's side, they have only achieved one victory in their last 11 games in all competitions. Now, that's, that's a woeful record. And pressure is mounting on Chelsea boss um, Graham Potter. And in his post-game interview, he said, if we, and I quote, if results aren't good enough, which they aren't at the moment, you can rely on support forever. And I honestly believe this. This is so true because the Chelsea board, they are solidly behind him. But yes, you can rely on support this whole time while your team keeps on losing. Now, Chelsea, they, they stay in 10th place while um, Spurs, yeah, they consolidate their stay in fourth place in the uh, EPL standings. Now, Carabao Cup related news. Manchester United, they ended their six year wait for silverware as they beat Newcastle United two goals to zero to win the Carabao Cup at Wembley Stadium on Sunday. Now, Casimiro's header and a Marcus Rashford um, goal got Man United the win and the title. Remember the last time. Before, well, before Sunday, Man United, the last time Man United won a title was in 2017 when um, Jose Mourinho, Jose Mourinho, led Man United to win the Carabao Cup and the Europa League title. So, yes, finally, finally, the drought has ended for Man United. They have the Carabao Cup. And they are still on course to win possibly three more um, trophies because they are still in contention for the EPL title, they are in contention for the Europa League title, and they are in contention for the FA Cup title. So yes, one down, possibly three more to go for Manchester United. Now before I leave, a quick update from the world of basketball and this time around um, specifically the NBA. Now there were some big games played um, last night and the Milwaukee Bucks in, in a recap of the 2021 NBA Finals, Milwaukee Bucks beat um, the Phoenix Suns by 104 points to 101. Um, mind you, they, they did it without Kevin Durant. Yes, Kevin Durant has moved to the Phoenix Suns. And Atlanta Hawks, they beat Brooklyn Nets 129 points, 227 points. And in the biggest game um, last night, Los Angeles Lakers, yes, Los Angeles Lakers, they beat Dallas Mavericks 111 points to 108 points. Now, later in the, in the day, or the early this morning, Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers, he scored 71 points in Portland Trailblazers win. 71 points in a basketball game. That's insane. <laughs> Damien Lillard, you are the top guy. And that will be N4 Sports Review on Breakfast Daily. My name is Yao H. Minta. So, Chris, uh, welcome uh, to the show. Welcome to the so team. Much. And Kweku. How many, oh, how many of the 71 points were three pointers? I believe seven. Wow. What kind of human being is this? Wow. Yeah. That means he's close to the basket dunking like what? 20 times or something like that. And he scores free throws too, a lot of free throws. And he scores uh, mid-range jumpers. My so yeah, goodness. Damian Lillard, he, he is that guy. He is that guy. Yeah. Damian Lillard is that guy. So yeah, that will be it for sports. Yes. Uh, my yeah, name is Yao H.A. Yeah, thank you very oh, much. Oh, yeah, 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 quick update. A quick team. Liverpool, yes, they drew goalless with Crystal Palace. Yes, I just had to chip that in. Okay, so that will be it. Yes, I'm done. Wow. Ah. What an interesting way to end the sports <laughs> 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 yeah, By, I, I by the way, you have, you, have a, you have a favorite team in I soccer. I don't have a favorite team. I used to love Chelsea so much. Until? Until they were like, no. Okay, all right. Okay. We'll